What's up guys, it's your boy GB here and today I'm bringing back you guys a brand new video. Uh, I never thought I was gonna have to make a video like this. I never thought that I was gonna end up having to make a, I officially yet have yet to leave call. I don't think I'm going to yet. It's in a very bad spot right now. Uh, we lost three managers. We are very inactive. We haven't posted anything on the team channel in a long time. We're just not looking into the right directions as of right now on call. And this would be the second time I would have had to revive call from a state like this. I want to say it is not easy. It is not easy. It is stressful. It is time consuming. But the only way I can do it is if I have a partner to help me do it with. And my partner that I was with me left. Uh, he basically just said not in the right direction. I 100% agree with him. And uh, I agree with his descent from Call Esports. That is perfectly fine. And for a while, everything was looking fine. Everything was looking good. We were really good. We were moving right. We were... Uh, we had a COD team, we had two COD teams in the, at this time. Everything was perfect. Uh, as of today, 5.30 p.m. on March 16th, to, uh, 2021, I've joined a new team, Air Raid. I'm proud to start working with them. I think it's gonna be, I think it's 100% honor for me to work with them. It's hard, it's gonna be hard to leave call knowing that I base, well, knowing that Stormy created the team, Stormy raised the team, he just, he kind of left just out of the middle of nowhere, I basically took control. I took the pilot seat and steered it into the right direction. Um, every once in a while, the team would die down like it is now, but after a while, it, you just lose all that energy. You lose all that, you lose all that excitement, I guess you could say, from just trying to rebuild the team, rebuild everything. We had a, we had plans to uh, buy a house in 2022, make it the call house, the official call house. We had plans to do a lot in 2022. We even were thinking about going back to Anaheim with the call team when Anaheim opened back up again, except it's gonna be a lot different now. Um, I'm still on call, I have yet to leave. I don't think I'm going to leave call officially uh, until basically it is deemed unrulable, uh, where I can barely keep up with them or I can, they're just, everyone's leaving basically and the team dies uh, officially. But as of right now, it's hanging on by a couple of limbs and me and a couple other people are basically trying to hold on to those limbs as hard as we can and it's not easy. And, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna I'm gonna try with the energy I have left to make call back to what it was. I want to. I really need to think about it. Uh, the new team I joined today is really promising. They're a newer team. It is gonna be a it's gonna be a ride. It's gonna be a ride. And with 30 members on the team, it is gonna be a, a hell of an experience to be onto this. This is one definitely for the books. This is one definitely for uh, the history. You know what I mean. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a, it's a sniping based organization with a lot of snipers, not really many. I don't think there's any Fortnite players, but we, they are very active and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a team that'll stay active. And I'm not one of those people that bounce around from team to team looking just for the clout. I don't do that. And I actually despise doing that. But when people, when people did it to call, it was really annoying. It actually kind of brought down the team's spirits, especially when someone good would do that. It brings down their their vibe, I guess you could say. Whenever they join a new team and they're, they do that, they know damn well other teams talk. Um, teams talk to teams, teams talk to other teams. So word can get around about a player doing that really quick. And in the esports world with millions of teams out there, if you happen to do it enough, you can actually, basically they do it for clout. Uh, I've never been that type of guy to do that. I've always been a, a guy that wanted to join a team, to be a part of that team, to play with that team. And every team I've been on, it hasn't been the same as Call. Call has always been there. Call has always done the what any other team hasn't done. And Call was my first official team that I've ever been a part of. Uh, you guys know I love Call. Uh, I have my jersey. I have everything. I still plan on representing Call positively, but... This new team is just looking real promising and I can't wait to see what the future brings. GB Skies, later.